Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. If you saw Saturday's bonus episode, then you know something that you might not, might not otherwise know. I'm going to pick that up. Excuse me for a moment. And that is right here. Boom. We have a new T-Rex. We're not going to worry about her right now. I promise. We're going to get back to her because we have a few things to do today. And uh, at the very least... One of them consists of learning a new engram. Now, this isn't going to be a particularly exciting one in the grand scheme of things, but considering what I think some of this stuff is going to cost, and, uh, you know, if you've followed with the series, I have definitely gone through a bunch of fiber that I had stored up long, long, long ago, then, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and make a sickle, finally. And that way... When I come back here momentarily, you can see I do have some fiber on me. Obviously, the sickle is for gathering fiber, but I'm going to need to gather some more because, yeah, we need to make a new saddle today. So, let's see. Metal sickle. Let's go ahead and take that. I'm going to put that in slot number five. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Forgive me a moment. I'm just going to refill my water over here. There we go. I will actually get far enough into the water such that I can refill it. And then, let's see, I think I have some berries on me. Some random stuff. Gotta like random stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and polish those guys off. Come on. You know you want to use them. Seems like the server might be having a, an issue or something along those lines. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see, who needs this? I think you do. Carrots. You get the large animal feces there. That's going to be a little bit of fertilizer. And then just so I can get some use out of these berries, I'm going to go ahead and drop them in there. And we're going to go to drugs. And I... Wow, I really don't have any spoiled meat in there? Bizarre. Well, probably some in here. Yep. So let's go ahead and drop that in there. I'm going to make one narcotic. Which I'm going to need more than that, but... Like I said, I just, I don't want those berries to go to waste. As the morning slowly comes upon us here, we're going to be able to get a better look at the new T-Rex, as well as naming her. And that, of course, would be... Hmm, I saw some really bright hearts there. Sorry, I got distracted. The new T-Rex, of course, is the offspring of Sauron and Thuringwethel, so I think that's pretty cool. They've been able to... Uh, Produce an offspring, produced a fertilized egg thanks to that patch, the 219 patch. I gotta say, that 219 patch is pretty darn awesome. I mean, I know there's been some, kind of some stuff along the way where the devs have had to fix some things. But holy cow, it totally changes the game for me, which is in some ways weird to say that because it's not the first time I've said it totally changes the game for me. And I truly mean that, it really does. I mean, it's... um. It's just a, it's a game changer. It, I don't know how to phrase it other than that. I mean, you get to basically kind of craft up your own dinos. And yes, I said craft because if you're being particular about the dinos that you use as parents, you can kind of, in a way, pick the stats that your baby dino is going to get. Now, you can't pick exactly, of course, but you can kind of influence things depending on who the parents are. Now, I don't have a big pool of dinosaurs to choose from. At least for T-Rexes are concerned, I only have the one female. Well, technically, we have two now. But for males, you know, got a few of them, but it's still not a whole lot of choices. And I don't remember, since it's been so long, what sort of stats they had when they were tamed. Basically, at their final taming, because that's when the stats matter, if I have it correctly. I, I think that's right, anyway. But that's okay. I'm I'm not necessarily looking to play the whole min-max game. I'm just saying that you can do that if that's something you're interested in. That is just kind of something to be aware of if you weren't already. I tend to think a lot of folks are. They keep up with this game pretty well, even though it updates so frequently. Sometimes I don't even realize when it's been updated just because I have other things I'm trying to keep up on too that I, you know, I can get lost in the mix there from time to time with everything that's going on. I think this is just about enough fiber for now. I do want to get a couple more swings in here, so just go through this kind of little stack of stuff over here. And then we're going to go ahead and run all this stuff back, and you're right, we're going to make a saddle today. 
And here, let's just go ahead and get these last two plants over here. We'll get this one and this one. Gotta say, I like the sickle. I like how quickly it harvests everything. That's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, sorry. I was just thinking maybe I should grab a few more, but that's okay. Achille is waiting. She's kind of like, come on, human. You you don't need to be doing this all day now. And she's right. She's a good dog. Wolf thing. I am looking forward to the patch, which uh, at the time of this recording, the patch still has not come out. It's definitely the weekend. In fact, the weekend is kind of running out on me here. And uh, I waited as long as I could before I sat down to record. So, you know, it takes time to record and edit and all that good stuff. So, like I said, I waited as long as I could, but they have not released the patch that's going to add mammal mating. I'm waiting for a second here just because I see Buddy and uh, Dialo over here kind of looking at each other. I'm just waiting to see. Doesn't look like anything's going on. I mean, definitely some pulsing hearts, but... Doesn't look like anything's going to come out of that. That's okay. Doesn't need to. We are we are just good with it not being the case. But let's go ahead and drop all this fiber in here. Got a fair amount, so that should be... Well, it'll definitely be enough. I know that for a fact. I'm going to just hold on to a few just in case I decide I need some for some random reason. There we go. I picked up a thousand fiber, basically. So let's go ahead and make a new rec saddle. Because... No longer a baby Rex. Needs a saddle. I'm going to need to get some more metal, I think. Yeah, look at that. I have burned through a lot of my metal. And there are other things I would like to do. Definitely would like to do this week. So, I don't know how this is going to work out. We shall see. But first, let's just kind of do something right quick here. During Wethel, if you would do me a favor. And... Kind of stomp around a little bit. Thank you very much. And then I'm trying to turn her around here. Not doing a very good job of it. I turned her at the wrong point. It's okay, though. I just kind of want to get them all facing the same direction for a bit of a family. Not quite a family photo, but, you know, something along those lines. And baby T-Rex, who is not a baby and has a ton of meat on her. Oh, that's right, I, I, I actually do need to do that. Here, let's put the saddle on you. That way I can hop onto it, because that's what I was trying to do. Here, let's uh, let's spin her around a little bit here. There we go. And then I'm going to keep spinning her, just so they can all be facing in the same general direction. And let's take a look. So here is Dad. We're going to start right to left, because Sauron, of course, was the first T-Rex to join the colony here. It's got some nice green colors. A couple different greens. His underbelly there kind of looks like a bit of a watermelon or something. So we're going to go ahead and go over to Thuringwethel, who is a lot of white, but also has a lot of red in her. Of course, she has a lot of white on the underside, not as much on top, but definitely has a lot of white going on. And then we go over to baby T-Rex over here, who kind of looks like a cross between Thuringwethel and Sauron, in that she got Sauron's green, but Thuringwethel's red. And the red looks like it's a little more dominant. I don't know, pretty cool. I think it, she's a pretty good looking dinosaur. Why don't I just go ahead and hop up top here? You can kind of see as I pan around. That gets Thuringwethel in the picture if I do that, of course. I can just go over here so we can get all three of them together. Proud Mama and Proud Papa. And um, let's go ahead and move Auntie Beryl out of the way because we're going to go ahead and drive them outside. Beryl, I'm going to need you to back up just a little bit for me. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and grab... Let's grab Baby T-Rex and we'll take care of naming in just a moment. You're not going to be able to back out, are you? Yeah, this is why I really need to finish my my gates and get my well, my walls and get my behemoth gate or behemoth gates, depending on how I decide to do this, fully functioning, because this is kind of bad. You know, I kind of want to... No, we'll, we'll do it this way. I was going to say, maybe, uh, maybe for the first walk, 
to leave mom and pop behind, but uh, I think they would like to come along, don't you? I mean, I, I just, I think they want to be here. They want to be by her side as she enjoys her first meal of whatever random thing she decides to kill. And then we'll go ahead and grab Papa over here, Papa Sauron, which I don't know that Sauron would have ever thought that, but hey, you know, Sauron's Papa, Papa Sauron. It all works as far as I'm concerned. So we'll go ahead and drive him outside here. He's a little more reckless. He chooses to run at the gates. Let's go ahead and close these right here. And Anti Barrel, who was, uh, I would say, pretty significant, pretty, uh, pretty big part of this whole process. Let's go ahead and level her up right quick. I'm going to get her closer to 5,000 hit points before I'm going to say she's done. During Wethel, you are not ready. Sauron, probably not ready for a level. Baby T-Rex over here, you are ready for a level, but more importantly, you need a name. And you are Baruthiel, except I can't spell it properly. There we go, Baruthiel. And you are level 5 already, so let's go ahead and start blasting some health into you. 1200, that's not bad. That's uh, That'll be okay. It's not as good in terms of per level as, say, oh, I don't know, uh, Gothmog or... Hmm, yeah, I guess Gothmog's kind of the king of hit points right now. I'm trying to get Thuring Wethel. There she is. I, I can't... Can't quite target her. It's alright. We'll figure this out. I'm... I'm capable of doing that sometimes. And, oh, she already is following it, looks like. Oh, good. And she's stuck. I wouldn't have it any other way. That's just how T-Rexes are. Yep, good. They're all following Barufiel. So she's just going to go ahead and start right off the bat here and chew on some turtles. And they're all going to join in, and I'll let them kind of take care of the harvesting. Since, you know, that's kind of their thing. But Ruthiel here, easy for me to say, is going to just go ahead and go to town on everything she can find. That is a good assortment of dinosaurs right there. Three T-Rexes and a Spino. Man, I would not want to run across this group. I mean, granted, the Spinos and the T-Rexes might actually be fighting, but minor details aside, I would not want to run upon these as a group of wild dinosaurs. Uh, you guys, don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. <laughs> oh, that was close. I wasn't convinced that the T-Rexes can make that turn. Feral there, of course, she's a bit more uh, nimble. She's able to make those turns better than the T-Rexes, but oh, I was a little concerned there. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to make it across right here, but we're going to try anyway. See what happens. Oh, look at that. They all bounced right across. Barrel looking like a big happy dog, as was pointed out in the comments. And actually, I, I think that's kind of appropriate. It's kind of fitting. Kind of seems that way to me. All right, get rid of another Carno here. Carnos are going down. Carnos? No. Did I say Carnos? Hmm. Turtles. Carbos. Not Carnos. Carbo. Turtle. Yeah. That sort of thing. Just gonna go down to the edge over here. Kind of the end of the... Well, I guess the corner of this particular beach. Are you a trilobite? Because I would like to harvest you. Oh. And away you go. Oh, look at that. Trilobites everywhere. That is fantastic. Because I can use some extra pearls and oil. I mean, sure, there are better ways to get it than that, but... It's okay. Here, I'm going to give her a moment. She needs some stamina. Ah, uh, she's swimming. She's not going to get any right now. Okay, there we go. Maybe... Possibly. She's kind of swimming. Alright, come on everyone. Let's turn around. I took her a little too far out. Yeah, she's going to end up not feeling happy in a moment here if I don't uh, get her a little closer to shore. There we go. That's a little better. She didn't need to be that far out. Yeah, I just I saw a bunch of trilobites and I thought, ooh, I gotta take care of them. Like that one right there. Chomp chomp. 
like I said, you know, some extra chitin, some e chitin, well, I said chitin, extra chitin, some extra oil, some extra pearls, all sorts of good stuff. All right, I was hoping to get around the corner here because sometimes you get something big to gnaw on once you get over to this side of the island, this particular corner. Doesn't look like it, but uh, we'll go ahead and run up this way just because there's often something big up here to gnaw on as well. And if not, it's okay. I mean, she'll end up, uh, say she'll end up with at least a couple of levels to show for this, I think. I mean, there's one right there. Go chew on some Triceratops. Assuming we're able to navigate this forest of spindly trees. Yeah, that is quite the mean group right there. And it is rather intentional of me to take a bunch of them out anyway. Just because I have had bad luck with alphas. Should I stumble upon an alpha, I want to be sure there are at least a few other dinosaurs nearby that can help deflect some damage. Yeah, I'm just going to let them take care of that because uh, they're kind of stuck over here. Ah, hello, Packy. Is that a... No. Packy? No, that's a... Uh, I forget what those guys are called now. I'm I'm having one of those days. My brain just is not working. It's not a Packy, but that does remind me. We do have some stuff to take care of back at the base still, too. So don't think I've forgotten all about that stuff. I have not. It's just when mating comes out and all of a sudden you can breed dinosaurs, certain things, they take priority, you know? They just take priority. You guys, you don't wanna, you don't wanna harvest that? No? You're, you're just gonna let that go to waste. Hmm, I'm disappointed in you guys. Here, let's see if we can turn them around for one more go. Sauron, I guess. Don't go over the edge, buddy. All right, good job. You never know with him. He likes going over the edge. He finds it exciting. Looks like we got some Triceratops over here, or at least a Triceratops. There was one in the forest, but figured he can't really see that one very well, so uh, try and go over this way where he can only see this one. Go ahead and chew on you. There you go. Would like to get for at least one more level. I would feel good about that. So let's see what we can find. A Dilo. Dilo's not really going to do it for experience here. I mean, some, sure, but uh, it's not a big deal. Maybe another tripe. Go ahead and chew on another tripe. She does have a taste for Triceratops these days. There we go. There's another level. That's going to get her some more hit points. And look at that. She has a ton of food on her. So let's just go ahead and use some of this up right quick. That'll heal her up pretty quickly. I'm feeling better about things as she gets closer to 1,200 hit points. 1,200? Wow, 2,000. I told you, it's a, it's a rough day. She's getting closer to 2,000. I'm going to feel a lot better once she's actually... Oh, I don't know. It, more than that. Uh-oh. We have an Alpha Raptor over there, don't we? Well, I think we got to go check it out. Which means i got to get rid of this trike over here. So let's get rid of the trike. And come on, guys. We have an Alpha Raptor in the neighborhood. I can't see anything. There are trees everywhere. I think there are dilos aplenty over here. All right, there was an Alpha Raptor, right? I know, I saw it. Ah, uh, don't be stuck on the tree, because I don't really want to jump on the ground right now. Ah, the problem of having so many big dinosaurs in a small area. All right, where did the Alpha Raptor go? Because we are long running out of time. We're actually running long at this point, pretty much. Okay, I'm going to drive in first-person mode for a minute. That way I can actually see through the trees. Ish. I know I saw a cloud of red. I don't know where it went, though. Let's check over here. There it is. There's the Alpha Raptor. Come here, Alpha Raptor. I have a present for you. It's called three T-Rexes and a Dilo. 
Alpha Raptor. Alpha Raptor. This is going to be madness. I can't see what's going on. Look at that. Boom. We took out an Alpha Raptor just like that. That actually went super quick. And uh, I think we need to call it an episode right there because we are running long and we got rid of an Alpha Raptor. So I'm going to be completely stuck and try and make my way back to base. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, the joys of big animals in enclosed spaces. Anyway, I will catch you on another one, I believe. I sure hope, anyway. So, until then, thanks for watching. See you later.